Dr. Sanders show on fabulous WFM radio. Turn it up now. And if you've not even got it switched on, switch your radio on now. Or you're going to miss Sandra Shuffle Bottom Show. And I was just getting me um my next song for uh, Mike Sexton sorted out. And he knows what I'm talking about. Right, Jamestown, Indiana, 12th of March, 11.30 p.m. A woman was driving to her mother's house and she saw a star-like object and then she realised it was much bigger. Uh, when she pulled into her mum's drive, she flashed her headlights twice the star looking thing and it went really small with a, a red light in the middle uh she, and she went and got her mum and her mum came out a few minutes later and she said you know come outside and look at this uh, and all of a sudden a big black triangle flew right over him and they watched in shock at uh, this low silent huge triangle uh, with a red light in the middle and two white lights on the corners and then it disappeared two minutes later into a tree line and they were both freaks. There's a YouTube video called Breaking News UFO Monitors the Crisis in Ukraine, 3, 13, 14. Or in our world, it'd be 13, 3, 14. Uh, another one, 12th of March, footage taken over China of a large white orb craft, which uh, splits into several white orbs. Um, that's on Insignia, put it. Three times a seti of have heard a signal. Not just the ones. You know, that wow signal. Three times they've heard it. Anyway, uh, some are called Don't Watch This Before Going to Sleep. Alien Contact 2014 coming. Three exclamation marks. Uh, loads of huge spaceships. Look in. Uh, look to the past. Mayan. Nazim Harameen. Pyramids. The pyramids are a big clue. Uh, a far sight planet. Must be this. Must be a YouTube video. Far sight planets, 2014. Uh, Great pyramids of Giza. Yeah. Over 50 UFOs seen near um, Phuket, Thailand, after the Malaysian flight 370 goes missing. And it's Charles Walton that wrote that. Corzo, and I forgot his first name. It's quite famous in the UFO world, anyway, Corzo. He says he's, his work enables scientists to back-engineer alien de debris, uh, including fiber optics, laser, lasers, um, transistors, and integrated radio, uh, integrated circuit chips. We all knew that, anyway. I remember when he, come on the telly, oh, there's a thing coming out called a chip. And I'm like, hey? And I, we had a coal fire, and I looked at the fire, and I was like, wait, what? It's mad. Um, when am I now? 22nd of March, at the ISS, huge crash showed up for a few minutes, and then disappeared, and it was saucer shaped. And then it weird that they're shutting down the, the ISS, like next week. Um, anyway, 24th of March, southern Alberta, Canada, mum and daughter was on her ranch and she took photos of loads of lights uh, flying about in the sky. Um, they were watching telly and the lights caught their eyes, you know, so they went outside. And the lights come towards them, you know, and then the cattle got spooked. Um, oh, this is called Sam and Martine. And their daughter's only 14. And uh, she the phones went weird. Yeah. The phones went weird. And she got, she got a photo on a camera. Uh, well, that went weird as well. It was a mad green colour. It hovered over their farm, and they'd never seen anything like it. And it headed off northwards behind them. Michigan, uh, Lansing in Michigan. Three black orbs, or craft, whatever. Three black things, you know, moving about, making a triangle formation over and over again until they, they transverse the whole sky. They do like these triangles, don't they? Or they have the triangle shape, or they're making a triangle shape. Um, 
Original, this has got original Art Bell, 11 11 1998. It's the first interview with Dr. Jonathan Reed, the full interview, uh, Alien Contacts. And he has spoke about him, and I've told you about the book I read. Um, and I forgot the name of it. But it's all about him meeting an alien and eating it and taking it home. And oh, unreal story, but true. Triangle over Phoenix, March 2014. Uh, there's one on MUFON. Chicago, Illinois, 18th of March. Several reports of three lights in a triangle uh, with a helicopter circling. Loads of videos of two or three lights stationary. It's brilliant. Just Google it. 22nd of March, Miami, Florida, 6.42 p.m. Single object saucer shape. Bit of red can be seen when the footage is slowed down. Really clear. It reminded me of a, of a tennis ball with, like, a red elastic band around the middle. Brilliant. Uh, back in 1947, uh, there's a piece in the Montreal Gazette saying, Flying saucers blanket from West uh, Vancouver to the heart of Texas. Sir Francis Drake and Byron's granddad, who was a sailor, and others wrote about a 10-foot red-haired giants in America. Um, was there long before uh, Red Indians, apparently. 15th of March, um, Mariette, um, Mariette, Marietta, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, 4.24 a.m. Three bright lights formed a triangle and hovered over an apartment block for about half an hour. Witness said she was really scared. Uh, she watched from her bedroom window. That's on move on. Glendora, uh, near Los Angeles, California, 2nd of March. Strange lights hovering in the sky. Uh, Dennis Poole uh, on the Isle of Guernsey looked at the town's webcam on the 24th of March to see what the weather was like. Uh, she saw a strange blue light hovering in the sky. Uh, she told a friend and she logged on and she saw the same. And Denise took photos which disappeared off Facebook. And a friend said it had a, a thin red um, fin, almost resembling um, a rudder. And that was in the uh, dailymail.co.uk. Uh, that one again, oh, Michigan, yeah, that one again, 19th of March. Mad freaky. Oh no, it's a. Yeah, Michigan, 19th of March. So it's just this mad, free, really, really weird shape. It's just this thing floating in the sky. And it floats away. 19th of March, UFO seen leaving the sun. Wow. And I don't know why I've written that. Chicago, I guess. Chicago again. Five lights, um, tight formation. Now, oh, it was published on the 25th of March. I uh, don't know when it was taken. Right. 26th of March, Indianapolis. Looked like, um, oh, this is weird, I remember now. Looked like uh, what a frog spawn looks like. Imagine what a frog spawn. Get one little piece, one little bit of frog spawn, and you've got it, right? It was just hanging in the air, you know. Um, with this like, black dot in the middle. Like a like a huge raindrop just hanging in the air, you know, uh, with, with a colour inside it. Uh, a plane flew past it. Flew past, yeah. Uh, it was just well weird. West Hampstead, 13th of March, 9.35. No name, and you know I don't like it when you don't put your name. So a square or rectangular shape. Uh, red and green lights. Weird. Ashford, Middlesex, 21st of February. 5.30 p.m. Nick saw a shining metallic rectangular object. Well weird. Colchester, 18th of March, 7.37. And Matthews saw a bright light, uh, appeared static, and then moved. Um, they was well freaked. And the last one, Spain. There's no date, but it's really, really recent. Um, big, bright, huge. It was massive light in the just flies right across the, the town slowly um, and it's just mad, crazy right, so now I'm going to do what I always do this time of day I'm going to play my alien 
six. Just for you, Mike. All right, Mike. Hello, baby. Take me to your leader. get sick of that right then crop circles and i don't want to miss the news tonight so i've actually been deleting some stuff that i should do i should do it but i don't usually right two crop circles have the same uh, the same swallow sign hmm. oh right as on the as on the the plane bass is the plane the uh, the seven you know 370 plane the Malaysian plane. Two crop circles have got the same swallow. Fancy that. Fourth uh, of August, 13 Wiltshire. Uh, red same Morse code in that chuala. And the top says ETB and the bottom says MHB. And red collie saying that one chuala looks like a camera chip with braille in it. And the braille could be, the braille's MHB. Well, the plane's MH, you know, uh, 370. Serpent Comet airplane. If the, if the ad. Oh, right, if the, if the ad was for a new chip. Right. Yeah, because that's what they're saying. The, this nibda. Oh, it is that we did it, you know. It's right with uh, bringing out a new chip. Uh, well, why is the serpent in it? But anyway, Red Collie's saying the... Uh, the Beware of False Prophets and the GIFs uh, crop circle data disc that you all know about. Um, he's found a second code in it um, and he's just busy working it out. He's saying that there's like capital letters in it. As You know, he says beware of uh, false gifts and the promises and there is good out there, and a conduit closing. Well, he's found, because um, I don't suppose anyone else has looked at it since it was first, that guy first works it out. Well, Red's gone back and looks at it, and sure enough, he's found, like, a code in a code. But anyway, uh, a few weeks ago, Red was talking about, yeah, and I'm not sure I told you about this, because it was like, oh, yeah, so what? It was like this S.